So let's learn and enjoy mathematics. Our lesson is about trapezoid. What is a trapezoid? Trapezoid, it is a quadrilateral with only one pair of parallel sides. The parallel sides is line segment GA that is parallel to line segment EM. What is isosceles trapezoid? It is a trapezoid in which non-parallel sides and base angle are of the same measure. Line segment GA and then line segment EM are parallel, but those parallel are not congruent. Line segment GA, that could be our base, and line segment EM is also our base. In a trapezoid in which non-parallel sides, the non-parallel side that is line segment AM, and line segment GE. Line segment GE, it is congruent to line segment AM. And those value of line segment GE, it is also equal to line segment AM. How about the base angle? The base angle that is angle E and angle M. Angle E, it is equal to the measurement of the angle M. Another base angle that is angle G, it is equal to angle M. So whatever is the measurement of the angle G, that is equal to the measurement of the angle M. How about if we need to identify the angle G and E? So angle G plus the angle E, that is equal to 180 degrees. Because two consecutive angles of the legs are supplementary. What are the different properties of the isosceles trapezoid? Letter A, if a trapezoid is isosceles, then each pair of base angles are congruent. So the base angles that is angle M and angle A, and then another base angles are angle H and angle T. So each pair of base angles are congruent. So it means angle M, it is congruent to angle A. Another Angle H, it is congruent to angle T. Letter B, a trapezoid is isosceles if and only if its diagonals are congruent. So it means line segment MT, it is congruent to line segment AH. Beam is an isosceles trapezoid. Find the measurement of the angle E, the measurement of the angle A, and the measurement of the angle M. If the measure of the angle B, that is equal to 48 degrees. Let us find first the measurement of the angle E. So base angles are congruent. So it means the measure of the angle E, it is congruent to the measure of the angle B. And then the measure of the angle B, that is equal to 48 degrees. So it means also the measure of the angle E equals 48 degrees. How about the measure of the angle A? So this one. So the base angles are congruent. So the measure of the angle M, it is congruent to the measure of the angle A. But we have no value for the measure of the angle M and the measure of the angle A. So ano gagawin natin? So, we need to subtract it with 180 degree because two consecutive angles of the legs are supplementary. So, it means 180 degrees minus 48, that is equal to 132 degrees. So, the measure of the angle A, that is equal to 132 degrees. How about the measure of the angle M? So the measure of the angle M, it is congruent to the measure of the angle A. And the measure of angle A, that is 132 degrees. So it means the measure of the angle M equals 132 degrees. How about example number 2? If line segment MO, that is equal to 6x minus 3, and line segment PN, that is 4x plus 5, find the value of the line segment MO 
and then the line segment PN. First, we need to identify the value of X to replace to be able to identify the line segment MO and then the line segment PM. So the solutions, diagonals of isosceles trapezoid are congruent. So it means line segment MO, it is congruent to line segment PN. So the given MO, that is 6X minus 3, equals the line segment PN, that is 4X plus 5. Let us solve for the value of X. So bring down 6X, move to the left side, that is negative 4X, bring down 5, move negative 3 to the right side, change the sign. 6x minus 4x, that is equal to 2x. 5 plus 3, the answer is equal to 8. If we divide both sides with positive 2, so it means the value of x, 8 divided by 2, the answer is equal to 4. So if the value of x is equal to 4, right now we can replace to solve for the line segment MO. So let us replace the value of x by 4 to the given equation. So that becomes 6 times 4 minus 3. 6 times 4, that is equal to 24 minus 3. The answer is equal to 21. So the line segment MO, that is equal to 21. How about the line segment PN? So the line segment PN, it is congruent to line segment MO. If the line segment MO are 21, so it means the line segment PN is also equal to 21 because diagonals of isosceles trapezoid are congruent. So line segment PN is equal to 21. In example number 3 of the isosceles trapezoid, line segment NP, that is equal to X squared, Line segment MO, that is equal to 8x plus 9. Find the value of the line segment NP and the line segment MO. So it means diagonals of isosceles trapezoid are congruent. So line segment NP, it is congruent to line segment MO. So NP, that is equal to x squared. And then while the line segment MO, that is 8x plus 9. So this is quadratic, so let us rewrite it in a standard form. So that becomes, bring down x squared, move positive x, that becomes negative 8x, move positive 9, that is equal to negative 9, equals 0. Think a factor of x squared minus 8x minus 9. First, we need to identify what could be the factor of 9 if we check we have negative 8. So that is 9 times negative 1. So, 9 times negative 1, so try natin, 9 minus 1 is 8. So, balik that. It should be negative 9 times 1. Negative 9 times 1, that is negative 9. If we add negative 9 plus 1, that is negative 8. So, the factor of x squared minus 8x minus 9, that is x minus 9 times x plus 1. So, let us solve for the value of x. First, x minus 9 is equal to 0. So it means x moved negative 9, that becomes positive 9. Second one, x plus 1 is equal to 0. So it means bring down x, move positive 1 on the right side, that becomes negative 1. So the value of x now is positive 9 and negative 1. If the value of x is equal to 9, so let us replace to the given line segment NP, it is equal to x squared. So it means line segment NP, that is 9 squared. 9 times 9, the answer is equal to 81. So line segment NP, that is equal to 81. If the value of the line segment NP, that is equal to 81, how about the value of the line segment MO? So the line segment MO, that is also equal to 81. Diagonals are congruent. What if, if the value of X is equal to negative 1? So line segment NP is equal to X squared. So let us replace it with the value of X that is negative 1. So negative 1 squared. Negative 1 times negative 1, that is equal to positive 1. So the line segment NP, that is equal to 1. How about the value of the line segment MO? So the line segment MO, that is also equal to 1. Because diagonals are
congruent. How about number four? If the measure of the angle NMB, so this is NMB, that is equal to 110 degrees, find the measurement of the angle B. So two consecutive angles of the legs are supplementary. So it means the measure of the angle NMP plus the measure of the angle P that is equal to 180 degrees. So let us replace 110 degrees plus the measure of the angle P, copy, and then copy 180 degrees. So let us solve now for the measure of the angle P. So the measure of the angle P, that is 180 minus 110 degrees. If we subtract, that becomes 70 degrees. So the measure of the angle P, that is equal to 70 degrees degrees. What if, if we ask, what could be the measure of the angle N? The measure of the angle N that is also equal to 110 degrees because base angles are congruent. How about the measure of the angle O? The measure of the angle O, if angle P is 70 degrees, so it means the angle O that is also equal to 70 degrees because base angles are congruent. How about number 5? If the measure of the angle A, that is x degree, and the measure of the angle B, that is equal to 114 degrees, find the value of x. So it means the measure of the angle A, it is congruent to the measure of the angle B. The measure of the angle A, that is x degree, it is equal to the measure of the angle B that is 114 degrees. So, tanggalin natin yung degrees. So, the value of X is equal to 114. So, that could be the value of X. Enjoy learning mathematics. I'm Teresa Tubal. Thank you so much.